Hey Transformers fans, it's back to Cybertron with another Transformers review, taking a look at Evolution, Rodimus Prime from the Power of the Primes line from a couple of years ago. I don't know much about this particular one. Uh, I don't know what Evolution <laughs> means. It is a uh, leader class Transformer and the uh, backstory to this one, how uh, this particular one ended up in my collection because I, I never gave this one a second look when I saw it in stores. This is one of the ones that I thought was cool. I'm glad they did it. It was neat, but I never considered buying it. But then uh, a good friend of mine named Sean Fuster picked this up and posted some really cool pictures on his Instagram showing how this to him in his headcanon was like a power master Rodimus Prime. It was a bit of unfinished business. The Rodimus Prime that they should have made but never did back in the 80s. And so when you look at this thing as not just a modern Rodimus Prime, which, I mean, compared to the Studio Series Transformers, as well as uh, Earthrise, Kingdom, the other modern ones, as well as Masterpiece, I don't think these Power of the Primes figures can really measure up to the look of the other ones. But, as Sean says, if you look at it as a G1 Transformer, as something that's supposed to be blocky, uh, beefy. Beefy. Not something with fantastic articulation or detail, but something that just looks big and powerful like uh, Power Master Optimus Prime way up there. I'll definitely be doing a comparison with Power Master Optimus Prime with this one because uh, that's what this thing is to me. It's a Power Master Rodimus Prime, even though he's missing the uh, engine on the chest there. When uh, Sean explained that to me, I, I went yes yes that's what this is and uh, i got to see it in a whole new light now i uh, said that uh there was one that was pretty cheap locally and uh, much cheaper than it was when it was originally in stores when i mentioned that to my pal slick uh he said don't bother <laughs> it's he said uh, as far as the articulation goes the stability of it it's really not worth it and so uh i i didn't give it a second look but then um, I found some upgrades on eBay and I mentioned to him and as I'm rambling on here I'll just let you look at some of the toy artistry the beautiful toy artistry on on the packaging but I mentioned the uh, upgrades and he's not normally a fan of getting uh, upgrades to correct things on uh, transformers but uh, he's such a big fan of Rodimus Prime that he did uh, pick up the upgrades for this which is a, a wing extension shoulder fill out and a girdle and uh, when he got that and added those onto it it looks amazing so I've got one in the mail it's on the way and I can't wait to put those on there and uh, have one that looks just like the one that Sean has but for today we're just going to look at the standard version the one uh, out of the box and uh, he's got a couple of accessories in the box he comes with the matrix of leadership talk about unfinished business yeah this is all about looking at this guy as a kind of origins i guess i'll use the term origins because uh, the Masters of the Universe Origins figures look like they should have come out in the 80s. Uh, so this is kind of an Origins Rodimus Prime. The one that should have come out in 87 or 88. I mean the uh, 86 Rodimus should have come with the Matrix 2. But definitely cool to see a Rodimus Prime come with a like a G1 looking Matrix. Because they've done other Matrixes, Matrices that open up or have a lot more detail on them, a lot more paint. But I like how this one looks. It's, uh, I like the yellow even though it's not screen accurate. It just seems to me like if Rodimus Prime had come with a Matrix in 1986 or 87 or 88, uh, this is more what it would have looked like 
than uh, something like a Masterpiece Matrix. Also comes with Rodimus Prime's Blaster, and it comes apart so that a lot like the uh, Masterpiece Rodimus Prime, it's two hot rod guns that can combine into a big long Rodimus Prime rifle, and that is so totally Rodimus Prime with the wings that come out on the sides. It looks very similar to the, um, the Masterpiece one, actually. And it uh, fits together just about as well as the Masterpiece one. The Masterpiece one is notorious for just wanting to come apart and like it takes nothing nothing to pull this apart. I guess you could strengthen that a little bit with some crazy glue, but there's the Rodimus Prime rifle and then Rodimus himself and big, big smile. I get it. I, uh, I totally see what Sean was talking about. This is so gloriously G1 feeling. That That is Power Master Rodimus Prime. Goes with a card too trading card with the artwork on it and he is um, wanting to fall back so without even looking at the instructions I, I see uh, these heel things come out and that'll yeah that'll definitely stabilize him a little bit let's get the gun in his hand so the hands are not posable which on a transformer that's supposed to uh, be a, like a G1 look and feel. I prefer that uh, in, instead of uh, the moving fingers and all that. And it's not a perfect circle like G1 Transformers, but uh, that's what the post is and that's how it functions basically. Stick that in there and you've got Optimus Prime with his rifle. There is another post right there. Uh, probably going to be tricky trying to get him to hold that now that is weird just playing around with them like this that is that those are hot rod legs and um that's one of the things that made this a dream rodimus prime for sean uh, a, a rodimus that could combine with his trailer so uh it's weird to see hot rod bits in there that is hot rods legs up there as the shoulders of Rodimus Prime. So the upgrade kit is, uh, like I said, that just falls off very easily. But the upgrade kit is, is you know, especially needed for this particular guy in order to cover up how that looks, in order to hide the fact that those are uh, smaller robots' legs in there. I am going to give this a shot there's usually a way to do this the, the problem with this particular gun is I can see these wings are getting in the way usually on uh, masterpiece transformers you can turn a fist like that the problem with this particular gun is these wings get in the way uh, if I am able to get this working it, it'll it'll just be very like not held very securely. That's uh, oof. Yeah, that sucks. So technically he can do it, but technically um, isn't always a good thing. I'm gonna put the gun aside for just a second. I want to take a look at some of this guy's articulation. The arms can do. It looks like a full. Yep, 360 and. He's got some really awesome shrugging action on those hot rod legs. Uh, you have to have them turn the right way though. You gotta turn it in like that, there we go. And then turn that like that. So uh, that's not a natural joint, but it's, it's there if you want it. And uh, it looks like there's even a little bit of a pivot on the shoulders. That's cool. I'm noticing, as I'm going through all these movements, different uh, color in red plastics here. This part is pretty red. This is more of maroon, like a G1 
Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime, Maroon. So odd that they couldn't get those to match up or didn't want them to match up. I guess the problem is that um, usually, especially in animation, Hot Rod is kind of more of a pink maroon red. Rodimus is more of a darker red, brown red. So I guess in order to try to um, get the two different looks in one toy, that's what you get. You get a mismatch, unfortunately. The uh, wrist blasters look like they can move a little bit. Uh, too bad they're not chrome. That would have been awesome. Having chrome pipes, that would have definitely made him look even more G1. Uh, the head, he can move left and right. Kind of hits, uh, hits his collar here. So he can't do a full 360, but that's fine. No real up and down movement there. Uh, elbow, bend, plenty there. Swivel arm is great. 360 on the hand I mentioned earlier. And can even move in a little bit. Let's get these arms out of the way and take a look at the legs and see just how much they can bend. Splits. No, not all the way, because uh, only because these things are in the way right there. That's the only thing. Uh, he can do a great kick forward thanks to this being able to move forward. So I would think a uh, Spartan kick for this guy would be a breeze. He's a little, little rickety, a little flimsy. There's, there's no ratchet joints, but can hold himself up doing a pretty decent Spartan kick. This is Sparta! Knee bend, uh, feet have great articulation. Uh, is there a pivot? Yeah, there is a pivot, so he can do that. Wide-legged stance, that is so important. This ankle pivot for just having a, like a powerful, ready, look like that he looks awesome even before the upgrades which i think are, are really necessary before even getting them and installing them just from the pictures uh he looks fantastic and another one of the upgrades i'm going to show you when i get the other upgrades this came with the x9 carry the third party rodimus prime and i've had really no use for it ever since i got that transformer and uh, just had this set aside and I think this is going to look fantastic. I'll, I'll show this off with the other upgrades, but wow, I think uh, this is just made for this Power of the Primes, Power Master, Rodimus Prime, and I really want to get this matrix in here. So how do you open this guy up? Looks like all you need to do is just pull this up and it will unclip. And, and that is weird. You got a squatting hot rod, basically squatting on his trailer in order to combine them. Um, not quite the Optimus cab, just plugging in, but still pretty cool. And that's where the matrix goes. So I think it's this way. I don't think you can put it in the other way, the uh, little groove down here goes on the bottom and that plugs in like that oh that's cool that's really awesome and i've i've got the the masterpiece rodimus prime so it's not like the first time i've ever had a matrix in a rodimus prime transformer but this just feels so g1 to me that there's a sense of nostalgia to it that the other more modern transformers don't have and just futzing around with this matrix i've never seen this thing before i don't have the um, power of the primes optimus which i believe is the same style of matrix just a little different co coloring and it looks like you can just pull out of the housing so that you get this and what i would love to be able to do with this rodimus prime is to plug some kind of engine in here there is this tiny little hole right here this little groove i don't know if this matrix it would be perfect if this matrix could just 
plug on there somehow, but it, it doesn't look like it's going to work. That would really go along nicely with G1 Powermaster Optimus's look, where he his regular grill is a Powermaster engine. Uh, that isn't going to work. I mean, being Matrix powered, having this guy's Powermaster engine be the actual Matrix, a Matrix engine, would be cool. But it, it doesn't look like that's going to work. So um, maybe there's a hot rod engine in here that can uh, come off and plug onto there. Uh, if not, maybe some sort of third party Powermaster upgrade engine. That gun just keeps falling off. So since I'm using this guy as a G1 transformer, I'm going to try to make him look as blocky as possible. Get rid of some of the, like the uh, turning of the knees, just kind of make him look more straight up and down as I bring in some other transformers to compare him with. How cool would it look if you took one of these G1 Powermaster engines and were able to just plug that on there that would look so awesome i'm gonna have to get some sticky tack just to be able to do that i'll just stick a little bit right here on the chest of this fella and even though on power master optimus his engine is more in his belly i think it would look better on power master rodimus if it was a little bit higher that is just awesome. That's super cool. Especially nice with the orange legs on this particular Power Master. It just kind of blends in with the rest of the orange. But uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a third party company out there that can, that can do this uh, upgrade for Power of the Primes, Rodimus Prime, making him a, an actual Power Master. That, uh, that little hole in the chest possibilities okay a couple of comparisons here bringing in his uh his counterpart power master optimus prime and uh other than optimus prime's giant head that's the only thing that's really uh, the biggest difference between the two they're exactly the same size the same width, girth, same powerful stature, same feeling, idea of taking uh, a leader and just supersizing him, super powering him. Super cool seeing these two side by side like this. Really cool. What could have been if they had just stuck with Rodimus a little bit longer? Uh, a couple of other. Comparisons. Here's a hot rod, an original hot rod, and uh, I'll just pull this off for now. And he's uh, quite a bit bigger than G1 hot rod, and then uh, G1 Rodimus Prime, and he's he's also quite a bit taller than G1 Rodimus Prime. And this is uh, this is the way to display. Sean uh, posted this on his Instagram. These three, one in front of the other like this, and you get that do 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 that growing look, and that is just so right, and it'll look even better once the uh, upgrade wings are on there. So, even though I love G1 Rodimus Prime, had one as a kid, played with it a lot, still have my original one, love it. I always felt like. And I guess a lot of Transformers fans felt like this. Something lacking. Something not quite satisfying about this one. Maybe because his articulation is so much less than Optimus, who came out two years before. But it was cool to have an, an actual Rodimus Prime toy, but it just could not do much. And uh, now I realize he's the in-between. That moment in the movie when Hot Rod's opening the Matrix... And he's growing, and Galvatron goes, No! And blasts the Matrix out of his hand. That's who this guy is now to me. He's the he's in Transformers the movie for literally one second. As Hot Rod grows from this size to this size. 
to fight this guy right here. Another little piece of unfinished business. It was always a big issue that the new leader of the Transformers, this guy right here in 1986, was so much smaller than the new leader of the Decepticons. And uh, now if you choose to use this Rodimus Prime as your G1 Rodimus Prime in your G1 collection, you finally got the new leaders from 1986 who I guess can literally see eye to eye but philosophically I don't think they'll ever see eye to eye but finally a G1 looking Galvatron sized Rodimus Prime and they look fantastic together Galvatron is just a little bit taller which is fine I kind of imagine in the movie Galvatron being just a little bit taller since Hot Rod is such a shrimp before being powered up compared to Galvatron but they look fantastic together same size same width really really nice together and uh, another big issue with the G1 toys was that G1 Rodimus was so much smaller than this guy the second in command the lieutenant G1 Roddy was uh, Rodimus Prime was dwarfed by his right hand man and now that looks a lot better. I I really uh, think I'm going to just stick this guy in my, my 1986 G1 shelf in behind here and just use him as a G1 transformer and use this guy as the growing thing exactly the way Sean has done it in his collection because that just looks right. Rodimus Prime should have been big like Optimus Prime. Or even gigantic, like uh, like Ultra Magnus, since he's Matrix powered. So I think that one will, even though he's a Power of the Primes Transformer, uh, I'm gonna just uh, have him in with my G1 guys. Okay, now the part that uh, I'm not looking forward to transforming him, since I don't think I'll ever have this guy in uh, vehicle mode, but I am interested to see what this would look like. I guess I should. Grab the instructions so I don't break anything here, but I can't help but being curious if uh, if I'm able to figure this out. Just no, I I, I need the instructions. Um, I definitely feel like I'm going to break this guy if I just try to uh, futz my way through it like a G1 transformer. So the first step the instructions give is to remove the arms. Looks like all you need to do to get started is just pull, pull that right off. Just uh, just plugs on and comes off pretty easily. So parts former, Put that one off as well. Just set them off to the side. I'm I'm guessing that goes like that to become part of the trailer and that one as well. And the hot rod part is supposed to just lift up and out of here, according to the instructions. Yep, that's your connection point right there. And that just plugs in like, uh, like so. Oh, I see. Okay. That backpack right there is supposed to just slide in like that while that connects into there. Let's move that over to the side. And this is Hot Rod. Let's take a look and see what Hot Rod looks like. It would be nice if I could just figure out how to transform at least this part on my own without instructions. That's one thing I really like about modern transformers that aren't masterpiece. You can actually figure them out, sort of, old school style without uh, the instructions. Uh, let's see here. That looks like the head in there. And that looks like it's supposed to... Yeah, that pulls out like that. Turns around. Let's push that back in. Close that up. He's starting to look more like his old self. 
And, oh, that's cool. That looks just like G1 hot rod front of his legs. And we gotta get the spoiler up. So the head of Rodimus Prime, the combined mode, gets hidden in behind. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, so that turns around like that. And that swings up like that. And that little hole that I mentioned, it would be cool if an engine could plug into there. Well, the backpack with the spoiler plugs into there and doesn't really fit all that nice. So I see what Sean was saying when he says it's a little kind of loose. Uh, let's get these feet out somehow. The front of the legs just open up like that, which allow the feet to slide down and then you just close these panels up again like that. And the feet that come out have a little bit of a heel on them to help them not fall backwards. And uh, I think that's it. The inner hot rod robot, which uh, combines with the trailer. You can take the Rodimus Prime rifle and separate it and have him hold both of them. And uh, this is weak. That, uh, that doesn't look too hot. This gun especially doesn't look too cool. And that is too big to be like a single blaster for a hot rod. So it's a feature that's there if you want it, but uh, I, I really don't dig how that looks at all. I think I'd prefer to just have him not hold any weapons in this mode and, and honestly, I, I'll never have them in this mode. It's cool that it's in there as an option, but um, this hot rod is not as impressive as the big combined Rodimus Prime. Sort of G1 looking as well, kind of looks like what a G2 hot rod would have looked like, like those laser rods that came out or laser Optimus Prime. Um, better articulation than a G1 transformer, but not quite modern transformers and he's got the little wrist cannons which don't look too hot either there's not much like they're just big and bulky they're not cascading like g1 hot rod they're not chrome uh, here's a look at his face um, articulation i guess i can do you can look left and right shoulders are similar to the big power master version uh, lots of elbow bend lots of range in the legs that folds up too so he can oh he can't he, it looks like he should be able to but he's he's hitting this little piece right here so he's not getting as much range as he should be able to get and the ankles don't have a pivot so he's uh he doesn't have much articulation. There is uh, the inner robot. Let's uh, compare him with the G1 hot rod. There they are side by side. This guy is just a little bit taller, but so many details carried over. Got those almost chevrons pointing up. That's really cool that they carried that over. The, uh, the flames are very similar as well. Even got these little stickers on the shoulders. Match the stickers on the shoulders of the G1 hot rod. And uh, from behind, they even look similar from behind, more elongated on this one. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool to see the, the similarities. I'm uh, really looking forward to finding the engine part of this guy. Uh, let's transform him into car mode. I'm going to see if I can do this without instructions, just kind of going backwards from what I've done already. Close those up. Put that in there, uh, open this. How did this open up again? Pull this out, spin it around, close it up, turn this back. That way, I'm starting to think there is no engine, exposed engine on this guy, like there was on the G1 hot rod. 
was uh, I was expecting something to flip out, pop out. Well, there's nothing here. That's a shame. But uh, still, once you do get him in vehicle mode, and looks like I'm almost there, these parts just have to get pushed into place like that. This backpack right here has slots in here and slots on top where everything is supposed to plug into each other. And that one goes in there like that. So then you got this gap, which is hidden right here by pulling out the side exhausts. and uh, plugging it onto that post right there. That plugs on like that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much a G2 hot rod. That's what I imagine hot rod would have looked like if he was released like it. That's not a Power Master hot rod, but uh, what I imagine a, a hot rod released in 1992 or 1993 would look like. And such a shame there's no engine on there. So uh, I don't know if anyone out there knows of an upgrade of just a little engine that you can plug on there. Not just for the combined mode, but also for this hot rod vehicle mode, just to make them look a little more hot rod. I'd love to know if one like that exists because it's really not hot rod without that engine on the hood, that blower, or the chrome pipes for that matter. The chrome on this hot rod are sorely missed, especially in vehicle mode. And next is the trailer, but before I get to that, uh, I also wanted to mention a Prime Master figure can fit in here. So you can pull out the Matrix and stick in one of those little Prime Masters and have him I guess be an actual, like a little closer to being an actual Power Master by having a little guy that transforms in his chest if you want to stick a Prime Master in there instead. Uh, to get this into trailer mode, doesn't look like it should be all that complicated. We just close these feet back up. This looks like it opens up and on the other side as well. You take the two arms and you can connect them together like that also take the two legs these plug into each other like that and that's a little tricky maybe a little bit easier from this angle there we go plug those in together and uh, flip that up and Bend this down like that, get those out of the way, move these side panels up like so, bend that down like that. You got to move this yellow thing this way, and then this goes like that. These fold in behind like that. I see some tabs and holes right here that are supposed to plug into each other. so. There's just a little bit of squeezing here, trying to make everything plug in in multiple spots. There we go. Same thing on the other side. And they, uh, they don't make plastic like they used to. This definitely feels flimsier than uh, in the old days. There we go. That looks good. Move that up like that. And then these feet get pushed up and they plug into these posts, it looks like. The second one looks a little crooked for some reason. I guess I don't have everything perfectly aligned in there with the legs. Ah, close enough. Then you take the arms that were combined and Pop them on the on the roof here and they just split apart as I was trying to do that. They're not held together very well. 
Perfect. Here we go. That's the trailer. And now this hot rod car just uh, backs up. And you see this post right here. Probably plugs into that little hole right there. Open these up like the masterpiece version. And uh, oh, look at that. There's some holes in the legs here. There's some posts on hot rod as well. So there's multiple spots for him to plug into and secure himself into the trailer. Nice that he's not just held by the one peg there on his roof. Connect that and then you gotta turn the exhausts on the trailer to try to kind of connect with the exhausts on the car. You just kind of squeeze, get the whole thing to fit together. That's uh, that's a Rodimus. That's cool that this mode is available, but uh, uh, yuck. It does not look good to me. And here's a uh, comparison with the G1 Rodimus Prime with the gleaming chrome. And it this just looks like, I guess, kind of like a Power Master Optimus Prime in truck mode. It's just kind of what you have left over after he's done doing everything he needs to do in his other modes. Same deal here. It is cool to have uh, a Rodimus Prime that's a little bit bigger than the G1 Rodimus Prime. But this one doesn't really strike me as a G1 looking Rodimus Prime. I don't think this would really um, go well with a G1 Springer, G1 Ultra Magnus. This looks a lot more like a modern transformer to me. So um, I'll probably never transform him again because this really does nothing for me. But for the folks who were curious what he looked like, fully transformed, that's what he looks like. And if you want, you can store the weapons, I guess, on the roof. There's two holes back here, which would have been nice for the G1 version, actually, to have just a hole to uh, plug G1 Rodimus Prime's weapons onto his roof. Oh, and here's a little warning for you. If you do transform him, here's what's going to happen to your stickers. They're going to get all chewed up a little bit on this joint right here. So if you have no intention of transforming this guy, don't, not even for curiosity, unless you want uh, those uh, cool flame stickers to get chewed up a bit. And back in super combined form, definitely going to stay this way. That transformation sucked. That vehicle mode sucked. So this is how he's going to stay on my uh, G1 shelf. Can't wait to get that upgrade because uh, that spoiler on the back is just way too tiny for this big combined mode. And um, I thought that this gap... This empty space in the shoulders was going to bother me more in person. Uh, it, it doesn't that much, but it looks so much better with the shoulders filled in. Uh, that's going to be a much needed upgrade. And then uh, kind of a girdle, which will hide the hot rod hands in there a little bit. Really looking forward to adding that one on there. A real mixed bag on its own, but that third party upgrade. Looks like it's going to uh, take it to another level. I hope you enjoyed this review and my uh, my bumbling and struggling to get this guy into vehicle mode. Share your thoughts about Power of the Primes, Rodimus Prime, and what you think about him being a Power Master, retroactive, retcon Power Master in the comments below. And to join the tribe, unleash the power of subscribe. Till all are fun.